locked in Clocked in, I'm locked in I might not be a top ten But I'm the realest nigga that ever, ever put his socks in A pair of moccasins, my confidence, competence My common sense, I'm convinced that I'm the best at pumping shit Blame my pops, he ain't come to the game So it was either go deep or go insane So I swung for defenses the whole game But I was more of a base hitter than a race hitter oh my Searching for justice, just trying to figure out Round to round, no doubt, I was low down with pal Wouldn't take much to get you choked out, but I'm cool, baby I ain't been a fool lately Do thank me, these dudes hate me we been making With another edition of the best podcast you never heard of This is the Conceited Nobody episode, I forgot to look we're, we're very unhinged right now, very uncoordinated unhinged. I tried to take that off uh, we are about to have a fantastic show. You already know who this is. This is Latouris, a.k.a. Dark Skin Thanos, a.k.a. Hard Thob Harrison, a.k.a. The Fan of Facts, a.k.a. The Commodity. And, of course, I'm here sans effects. We don't have the special effects. We're dealing with technical difficulties. But without much further ado, to my right, we have the uh, illustrious it's me, guys. <laughs> With no song. <laughs> Acapella. <laughs> Acapella it's your J. boy, Go Jason, uh, a.k.a. Jason Richie, a.k.a. Vanessa Williams, a.k.a. Simi. Simi the Cash. Cash app, Benmo, Cash Ho, let's go. A.k.a. Marty McHigh, a.k.a. Senor Tezito to the Latino people. Si. Ole! Si. A.k.a. Andrew P. Richard, a.k.a. Drew P. Dick, nigga, a.k.a. your favorite comedian. Guys, it's... welcome to the show. I'm glad to be back. Glad, we back. Glad to be back. We back. Definitely back, man. Listen, I thought back, you were, I, I was about, about to hug you. <laughs> uh, the arm a little bit too long here. I'm vulnerable. <laughs> Damn, you know it's like, hey, hey. any arm extension is a hug yeah. now. I know it's rough. I now. almost dipped. <laughs> Uh, today's a special day. <clears throat> Today is a fantastic day. First off, I didn't get the uh, we ain't run last week, so I didn't give a shout out to Jermaine. Jermaine's birthday was last well, her birthday, birthday actually Saturday, so of course I'm gonna shout it out. Shout out to Jermaine, her birthday. She turned 45. Happy birthday! I'm just gonna put some sauce on that. Some old social media okay. sauce, 45. Hey, nah, it ain't social honest. media. Be honest, old black woman. So. I'll be looking at her, be like, damn, you a pretty motherfucker. And like I said, to be doing all the goddamn snoring. <laughs> <laughs> that that shit is remarkable, nigga. It's like it's like I can imagine. It's like if you walk into a girl who you've been digging for a long time, you say, "What's up?" and she burp. Mm. That's the that's how it's juxtaposed. But you look, you admire her sometimes while she sleeps, like no. prior to hell the pillow, yeah. going over yeah. her face for the murder. No, look, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one day. I'm gonna tell you, man, how sick I be sometimes. So beautiful. Sick. I hate you. The sound of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something sick, right? Oh, okay. I'm not. I looked at her. You know, I said, I said she stay like this. She was asleep. I said she gonna be pretty as fuck when she did. <laughs> I said, it's going to be a pretty casket. <laughs> hey, I said, I'm a fucked up person. She going to be beat. That's how beautiful she is, though. It's going to be beat. So she gonna, it was natural. She was just going. I think it was like some Vaseline. She would say some oil. Coconut but oil. It looked like Vaseline. <laughs> I, I grew up getting Vaseline put on all my face. I know That's Vaseline. what we niggas know. Yeah, grease. grease. On everything. <laughs> grease. But shout out to her. Uh, my shooter. Happy B-Day, nigga. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but my other shooter. Pew, pew. Shout out to Destiny Latouris Harris and my daughter. Love my life. She just turned 12 years old today. Meow, 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 meow. Um, she don't get super excited about birthdays, so it'd be hard for me to gauge her. Hey. She almost got my reaction to stuff to where people think I'm not happy or excited and shit because I keep that same ass demeanor. I'm not an excitable person. Same. She, yeah, she'll say man. shit, and I know that she's happy because she say shit, and we be rapping or whatever and shit. Uh, that's my girl. I love her. Man, listen. I, if I sit down here, just she got it on us. Said, huh? Said she got it on us. Yeah, is what we saying? Hell yeah, I love her to death, man. And uh, I don't know. It's hard. it'd be hard for me. To, I told her. Me and her was sitting around talking uh, a couple days ago. Damn, hell, let on somebody door if you can. Uh, we was chatting the other day, and I always believe in reinforcing shit. I always believe in reinforcing things with her 
And, and I, it's cruel. It's crazy because I do it with Jermaine too. I don't think she get to him because I'm not like super affectionate normally. So when I just get to telling you how I feel about you and shit is different. Yeah. So when I was talking to my daughter, I always do it with her because she growing up in the jungle. The, what these girls are, these girls coming out in this out this card pack, like if we doing like baseball cards, uh, women or girls, these bitches are garbage pail kids. <laughs> <laughs> there's no there's no rookie Ricky Henderson cards coming out these bunches. There's no rookie Hank Aaron's in these bunches. Ain't the old, ain't all the old blood shot gum. Scott. <laughs> <laughs> and so you got to try to make sure that you're not bringing the child up to be that way. Yeah. Because it's, it's, when we was young, what you would do, your parents would tell you some shit one time and it made sense. Because when you go outside, everybody got told the same shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't supposed to be out here playing the trap. We ain't supposed to be throwing rocks at car. We would do it, but we know we wrong, right? Mm -hmm. And this generation wrong is pushed. Like the idea of being an outlaw, independent, or whatever, or an anarchist where you're not adhering to any societal stipulations is pushed and it's endorsed. So it's a wild jungle. When we was young, if you can think back, who was the girls looking up to? Looking up to? Damn. Who did they The idea of a role model wasn't pushed on them. They individually sought out whoever they sought after. Yeah. So... And this generation is the boss bitch, the independent bitch, and the whole thing is to uh, promote the again the anarchist archetype in females to where they feel like they don't need a man until they actually need a man. So with my daughter, what I do, and it's not some kind of superhuman nigga, but it's just the ruach where the spirit of the most high give me insight on how to deal with her the best I can. So I, I always tell her, one, you the best. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I love you. You blessed. I tell her she's a child of the most high. And I tell her all these things. I tell her how much she means to me. And like I said, the older I get, nigga, I get more emotional. Yeah. So nigga, like, don't let me watch Sounder today. <laughs> I won't watch I won't watch Boys in the Hood today because I don't know how I feel about Ricky getting shot at this point in my life. I was talking to her the other day telling how much I love her, how much I care for her, how much I admire. I told her, you smart, you intelligent, you remind me of me. You got a sense of humor just like me. You is kind. Yeah. You what is else? smart. You was impotent. Tint. <laughs> Tint. Impotent. I was telling her all that shit, man. And I told her that, uh, like, well, I don't just tell her she's pretty. Because pretty uh, is a, is a, um, it's a, it's a trap. Yeah. You're beautiful. But I tell you, and more importantly, you intelligent. I tell you, smart, you got a sense of humor, you're real creative. Because if I'm going to toot my own horn, she can write. She a writer. And it fucking shocks me. And I told her one time, I said, I'm shocked at your vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Like I would we text back and forth and her vocabulary or, or like her her what can I say her time with her words. She know what the fuck she be talking about. Mm -hmm. And it fucking just be shocking me. You know what I'm saying? So I was telling her how I felt about her. Hey, y'all gotta understand it's her birthday, so this is her soliloquy. I was um telling her how much I cared about her and stuff. It's your man. monologue. Yeah. <laughs> your baby monologue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I needed more sauce in that word. Soliloquy sound a little bit different. I don't even know if it's, but hey, it, it had some sauce on it. Yeah, I think I think that's appropriate too. But the thing is, though, I was telling her how I felt about it, man. My eyes start watering. I shut the fuck up. Kept playing the game. Told her get the fuck out of here. You turned into a bitch ass nigga. But my whole goal is for her not to uh, end up in some shootout at Burger King. <laughs> Over, over, over ice being placed in the cup when she had no ice, knowing not. that the ice machine over there, she do it herself. And talking about we, we ain't got no shakes and the shake machine working. Yeah. I'm scared though, man. I'm scared, I'm terrified of this world. This world is remarkably fucking Amen scary. To that, bro. It's scary in so many different ways. We just had a brief conversation off of here, but I just can only hope to the most high, pray to the most high that he allowed me to keep instilling values in her because when she go outside what I, to the point i was trying to make about when um we got we didn't have to keep getting shit reiterated because we wasn't being basically attacked every day they getting attacked and what it is it's not like physical attack but it's mental you know what I'm saying and girls you know girls susceptible to mental you know what I'm saying because they go with the flow type shit they don't have that distinctive i'm a leader type gene no disrespect mm -hmm. but they are natural followers and so when you trick them and tell them that, yeah, that controller plugs up, you playing the game, 
they can go wholeheartedly with it, even if they're not in the game. So I reiterated to her all the time and so stuff just how important it is to be an individual and how much I love her. As you should. She don't watch this show. And if I showed her to her, she'd say, oh, that's cool. Mm-hmm. So I ain't going to disrespect myself like that because I said some heartfelt shit to get an, oh, that's cool, bothersome. Yeah. But that's my baby and I love her. Shout out to Destiny Latouris Harrison, a.k.a. Chi-Chi, a.k.a. Desi, a.k.a. Buddy Love. That's our new moniker. We watched Nutty Professor the first time the other day. In hindsight, I didn't know <laughs> oh, that shit was dog. that garbage. <laughs> <laughs> she thought that shit was funny. But yeah, what else? That's what, funny. Enough. Our kids is very similar, just from your description. Yeah, uh, as you uh, and it's crazy because I get that from your son. Yeah, I swear I get that from him. I swear mm-hmm. I get that from him. He don't give a fuck about shit. Yeah, you know, I I'll get be that like, from nigga, him. it's your birthday. Like you sixteen. Like Had one. he like, well, yeah. <laughs> that, time flies. It's been a year. Yeah. It's been a year it's been already. Sixteen, bro. Yeah, it's weird. But no, not to uh, detract, but no, the, the point was they very similar. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's just, that's just kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's funny. That, obviously, that we we friends, so that would make sense that we have uh, no. similar uh, uh, offspring. offspring. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, on the bigger and better things. What's There's on the bigger and better than that. Let's make that clear. What you been up to, though, man? Uh, you know, I was down for the count last week. I was sick as a dog, man. That shit I started Googling out. AIDS symptoms. Uh, boy, I'm like, <laughs> nigga, they done easy E got me. Like, they, But no. Uh, Damn you, Amazon? No, I was just actually just worn down, man. You know, like, you know, I'm sitting there listening to your shit, and I'm I'm talking about my shit, and I'm talking about I'm worn down too much work and no, not enough mm-hmm. rest. And, uh, you know, I really had to take a little time off to get some rest. Like, for real, take care of myself. My damn rib strain. Nigga, I ain't ever go to the gym. Nigga, I'm mad, too. I'm yeah. this bitch like, oh, I'll wait till I get to them weights. So you motherfuckers. But uh, um, had a nice little show last, not last week, the week before last, um, where we had, we was drinking and we had to tell stories. And uh, that this shit was, was cool, this man. Was, this was a white person's idea, wasn't it? Nigga, I, well, it was the club, so yeah, they are the white people. But uh, yeah, nigga, I, I, I'm coming to the conclusion that I like doing them shows. Yeah, where I got to tell stories, and I like that. That's an understanding for the crowd. Like, all right, these niggas just gonna tell stories because it's really a lot less pressure for me. Yeah. I put a lot of less pressure on myself, except I do. It's a more pressure in a way because it's like I'm telling you a story that I know is funny, but I don't really know if y'all think it's funny. If y'all think it's funny, I don't know how to tell you. Yeah. I got to get it right. I got to make it funny on the first time. Like I got to make it. I got to punch it up a little bit to accentuate. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to cut and all this shit. So you never know how people gonna react to this shit and. Um, the shit, the shit went over really well, man. It went over really well, and I was like, I, okay, I just need to stop fucking telling jokes. Yeah. I'm like, I'm, I'm think, I'm, I think I'm corny to myself now. Well, maybe to other people. So you think you're corny? So I'll be like, you know what? I gotta tell these fucking stories now because it's, I gotta have a couple jokes that I will write or whatever it is because I can write well. I can write well written jokes. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. like now, I'm starting to realize like. I need to just tell these stories that a lot that I've been trying to tell and stop being so reluctant about doing that. I just never know when's the right occasion to tell what story. And so that's yeah. what's something that I'm trying to practice doing. But that was that shit was dope. It was some shit like like I said, I want to, I'm gonna put out this album where I'm like, I'm not this shit I'm never gonna say again. Yeah. But I probably will. But I, like I say, I never said these stories before and they went over real good. So it was just a good show. You said these are new stories? Uh, yeah. Did you yeah. tell the story of, so you didn't go into the church shit? No, I didn't get to do none of that. Only thing I was talking about was alcohol story. So I, talk, I talked about- Was uh, that the thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I, I talked about uh, when I picked up somebody in an Uber. It was kind of all Uber thing for me. Yeah. Uh, I picked up a nigga from Amazon uh, in an Uber, and when this nigga got fired, <laughs> they sent him a cab because he got he was drinking on the job and shit. Yeah. <laughs> and I had to be the nigga to come get him. And uh, the nigga was drinking on the job. He had to play hero. <laughs> he, was, he, they, Uber. he was like, man, they fired me, dog. I was like, boy, he's like, they say I was drinking. 
long story short, this nigga had a gallon of fucking vodka in his bag with him that, that he took to work with him. Because he took it out the bag and was like, you mind if I drink this? Like, Talk to the people in, in the, the car. car in the car with, with me. I'm the Uber. Oh, picking him up. Yeah. He smelled like liquor. Talking about, they said I was drinking. Yeah. Nigga, you was drinking. You got a gallon in your I'm fucking- just starting. <laughs> <laughs> he said I wasn't prior to this. Then the other two stories was uh, when niggas threw up in my car back to back um, on Halloween. Uh, and that made me retire from Uber. The first you said time. they did what? They threw up in my car mm. back to back, like night one night and then the next night they threw up in my car back. Did to you back. make a clean up or you clean up? No, I'm that's saying. the. I'm gonna show you. I got to You got to see the story. Okay. I'm gonna, you, you will be blessed. Recorded. I'm gonna bless you with the recording. Yeah. You do the extraneous circumstances. The rest yeah. of y'all niggas gotta come to a show. I'm trying to tell y'all the next one. I'm gonna try to put a one night around uh, helium at least. Yeah, uh, because ninety percent of the niggas who came was for me. Yeah, and I'm like nigga, I ain't even see ninety percent of the money. So I'm like, I need to do this again. Oh people, yeah, nice turnout. Yeah, was it wasn't nobody else. It was one table that wasn't for me. Hey, look at this. Nigga. So that's why I'm like, nigga, I can feel that look, upstairs look room. This. How did it feel to be Beyonce, nigga? nigga Tell me I about like, it. I'm Tell like, me. nigga, I can feel this room. Tell me about it. I can feel these little fucking forty <laughs> seats. <laughs> Tell me about it. It was forty <laughs> seats. So yeah, like hey, that. nigga, that's four thousand us. That's four thousand us, nigga. Hey, but nah, it was cool. How many days Messiah went without food and water, nigga? You special. Okay, you right. You right. Church, but uh, Nate was funny for real. Um, so Aisha was funny too. Uh, was she? Everybody was funny that night, for yeah. real. Um, yes. Yeah. Shout out to uh, that Memphis Magazine who got me in there for that interview. Oh yeah, nigga, Memphis look at this boy, motherfucking man. celebrity. Listen, Loki. The- <laughs> Listen, did you lean back? Mm. <laughs> it was cool. I don't even know they saw this. I don't think they found us on. Uh, I don't know. That was cool. I don't know. It was cool. And, and I said to you, what? You said you ain't seen that shit. I ain't get, I don't know what email they got. What you mean, got it? Oh, shit, I sent your email. I'm going to contact them, though, but I feel like my daughter, nigga, I wasn't excited. Okay. I said, maybe people could be excited for me. They're going to think I'm in the, This is like they're going to think it's Ebony. Now they think I'm the Ebony man of the month. But shout out to them and their uh, their publication. They, they do. We got to start making bigger deals out of this shit, man. Like, this is what the game is now. This is what this the game is. is. We got to start making bigger deals about nothing. Yeah. Nigga. Like, this is a new episode of Seinfeld. That's what a it is. A big deal yeah. about nothing. Hey, <laughs> that's some funny. That's so, what this show is. Yeah. That's the title. <laughs> Thanks for that fucking title. A big, big deal, deal about, about nothing. nothing. Um, anything else been going on? We uh did take, what, two weeks off or was it just a week? I can't Spring remember. Spring break. Spring here. break. Um, nah. Not man, too much been going on. I was... You snowfall. Where you at? Where you at? I'm fully you caught fully up caught until up? I'm, I've been waiting for. I've been checking all night because I took. I told you I've been off of work. Yeah. So I've been checking like from like the last yeah. few hours. Like, where the fuck is it at? Is it tonight or tomorrow night? Is it like? Is it yeah. Thursday? Is it, 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 it Tuesday no, and Wednesday? Or is it the Wednesday to Thursday? But anyway, how you feeling about the death of nigga of, of Jim is wrong? Uh, well, first of all, we called all this shit that's happening. Definitely. Right? Definitely. Okay. We was right on the money. I was like, this, they all about to come together. All of it. They yeah, all like a fucking, it. like a fucking uh, action film. Yep. Yeah. Um, how do I feel about how that went down? Uh, no one. Jerome, uh, I thought he was going to go out better than that, nigga. You see him walk around that AK and shit and the fucking Tech 9 the whole time, yeah. like getting drunk and shit. Like, that nigga, I'm do that, what the fuck I won't do. I thought he was going to go out of hell of glory or getting like fucking drive by or I'm going to go down yeah. with this nigga. That nigga was like, Jerome committed suicide by drug dealer. Committed suicide by that bitch. He could have got out of the situation. <laughs> he could've, I don't think he wanted to get out. Uh, I don't like how he be walking like around with that bop. Happened. Like he he walked like a uh, the ledge, um the the evolution. Like he like the fourth stage eight. Like he can't fully stand up. He's not fully erect. You yeah. know, like how he be walking yeah, and yeah, shit. Yeah, that yeah. shit. Yeah. But the show itself, man. Listen, this is been shit was like this, Shakespearean. This season has been like this. It's been up and down. And this was a down for me. And I say that because I it's agree. too fucking theatrical. The, it remember? was Shakespearean, bro. For me, only because this. It was I, like I don't it disagree was, with that. It was like it was like that. you seen the. It was like it was weak as fuck how it happened. You almost thought it maybe it wasn't gonna happen, 
And then it happened because it was like a self fulfilling prophecy. Yeah. So it was like, damn, we knew you was gonna go, but you dumbass nigga, like, come on, you ain't even have to, nigga. Ah, uh, it was. You could see so many ways where it didn't have to, but you knew it was gonna happen. You knew it was gonna happen. And, and, and anybody who pay attention to any kind of television shows, I feel like I'm a television kind of sewer. When you see a character, they just extensively focused on this motherfucker, where he getting all the screen time. Yeah, that's This too. is his swan song. That they too. was giving him too much screen time in these last two episodes. If you go back, everything was highlighted. Everything was pumped up. Uh, his drunken rant at the uh, car wash or whatever the, whatever the car place was. What I didn't like most is how they really bitched him. And what I say, go ahead. No, I was about to say before you get too far away from it, to, to your point too, that's one of the things I think they use in film too. Cause they was definitely he had his uh when this all blows over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that when they start talking about Carlito, the Carlito on that do. train station. <laughs> Car Carlito and K. We getting out of here, Benny Blanco got a different plan, nigga. I just watched it's another dope. movie like that. This what nigga was, that? was like it was the Mel Gibson and Vince Bond movie that's on Netflix. Uh it's really good. Uh, but it's new. It's oh, uh, but it's like just seventeen up or some shit. Yeah, oh, I just seen that motherfucker. That I'm shit like, where was the really shit fucking good. Where this old anti-Semitic motherfucker being, as they say, dragged across concrete or something yeah. like that. But I was like, this nigga's talking about. Yeah, I'm gonna marry my girl. I'm gonna give her this ring. Yeah, I just went ring shopping. I'm like, you finna die, yeah. <laughs> hey nigga. Hey, let me tell you about this plot twist, nigga. Uh, yeah. What other, first off, man. <laughs> That's a device can we use. Hold on, hold on, we're gonna put a, a bookmark on Jerome. What other movies? That movie you mentioned, Carlito's Way. What other movies where you thought, nigga, Heat, baby? Oh, uh, uh, you said Heat? Yeah. You that, want a happy ending? Uh, Dead yeah. Presidents, maybe? Dead Presidents. <laughs> Menace of Society. Menace of Society. You know, there's always a motherfucker to piss on that motherfucking joy. Higher learning. On everything, fucking nigga. everything. I was like, Malik. I mean, he gonna make it. He gonna make it. No, Tyree he... gonna make it. Listen, no. that I'm is sorry. fucked up. <laughs> Wrong. He falls into I this category emotions. right here, uh, nigga. You not going nowhere. I didn't like. He looked like the drug dealer. But he like the dope man's bitch. Where he's out here trying to convince her to get out the game and start a family. I thought he gonna. That shit was funny too. I thought I, it, I didn't like. That. You know what I thought he gonna do. I thought he was gonna start crying until he was pregnant. <laughs> I thought they were gonna say it's either me or the baby. And start rubbing his fucking or this. Rub that goddamn oh. curl. <laughs> me or the baby. I'm not fully he was healed. That, he nigga. was that close to me and the baby. He said, I'm fully healed. It's either me. He gave her that ultimate. You need to so you need to leave that dope alone. You can go away with me to Jamaica. Yeah. First, also knew I'm getting goofy. Also, when Franklin had that conversation where he like, just get him. Okay. What are we watching? This is the hood. Remember, this is the hood. Ain't nobody out here making these goddamn John Woo uh, pre fucking over dramatic scene. Then they have a shootouts and shit in the hood. And there's no police. Crack now. This ain't new crack. This is old crack. Crack been in the hood now. Crack police are everywhere in this part of California. You go and you tell this nigga, I don't know you know where they put the money in this nigga lap. We gonna uh, we gonna um pay you. You just leave this gate open. And how he been chilling with this nigga the whole time. You say you want to go to the store. He's like, no, nah, I'm about to be the eighth nigga in line to get this old ass raggedy beat up pussy. And you just looking like, all right. I'm like, that shit was hilarious. On everything, I'm like, Jason, look, nigga, I'm telling you, it's, this shit about to go somewhere. We don't want this shit to go. That vintage vagina ain't worth it. Speaking of, Percy, the pimp. Shout out my nigga Wood. He <clears throat> put on emphasis of Percy, the name, when we was having our. Um, Die tribe about this fucking show. Nigga look like the nigga on uh, Belly. Of course. Who had the banana, who didn't like nobody. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't sure if it wasn't him. He, like, what? This is, it's not a James Bond movie. That shit was really annoying. Where you tie this bitch up. I thought she was going <laughs> to cut herself off and shit yeah. and crawl through a fucking maze of vents and shit and get out. That pissed me off. That pissed me thing. off. So, your idea, what first off, why do you have her kidnapped? What was he kidnapping her for? Or abducting her? She's an adult. Why was he abducting her? I don't even like uh, again, 
Nigga, what the fuck? That shit was just stupid. Like, he's sitting there talking about, he got two niggas holding there talking about some. Take your clothes off. Yeah. Like, what, bitch, yeah. No, I'm sorry. I'm not. We don't condone this. We don't. It, Listen, none of that shit. I just seen a lot of movies. I yeah. ain't never seen a woman be in no shape or form this way, fashion. Again. You know, but yeah. I don't think that's how that works. Listen. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. It's been times <coughs> where, where Jamina just took her hair down and she like she been through similar situations. But it's not that bad. And then like I like glance over and I see a little titty meat. And then she look totally different. I'm like, damn, she look rough and ready to go. Right. But this beat up bleed shit right here, mm. I don't know what's wrong with you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And and then first off, I'm going back to Kane. What's what's the goal? What's the end game? Like, nigga, at this point, you done turned to a villain on a fucking James Bond movie. Like, is you got to give you a whole speech, and now, like, I, I can't remember. Was he trying to get drawn there? I can't remember what was going on. Like, I don't right, know. what was the point of the I don't remember the yeah. end game. Like, why you keep her alive and stuff, so. Because he got what he wanted. I thought it was, I thought it was to get her so he could. For one, vengeance, they tried to kill you. So if you're going to get revenge, shoot her. Yeah. Why are you dragging this out? And this is a, this is bad writing. This is this is a show that, but they've been drugging that, dragging it out. Definitely, but it goes back to my thoughts of uh, power, where we got so engrossed in the characters and the good acting. It was some good acting. On you have a la la here and there. She continued her terrible acting on a BMF, but the character. This is a character driven show. A great it. show is character and script driven. You know what I'm saying? And so that's the difference between a good show, a great show, or okay show. This went from a great show to. Good to it's cool, but I'm ready for it then, and that's where I'm at with it now. Definitely, the shootout scene was weird as shit. Uh, I did want a more theatrical death, but it was real. You know what I'm saying? I ain't no nigga giving no speeches on their way out. Um, yeah, that shit was just really drug out in a way in ways that yeah, so much worse should have happened. Funny shit on this episode. And we'll never get another moment like this again because the funniest thing on the episode is gone. Bitch nigga! When he rolled up on Franklin. <laughs> when, he, when Franklin <laughs> meet him to tell him about Louie. Like, we rewind that shit, right? Bitch nigga! Me laugh a little bit too hard. Ah, he my favorite character. I was so happy he died because of that. I guess the tired told me that's her favorite character. I was so happy, y'all. Like, you ain't wrong. shit. It's wrong. You wouldn't die if you wouldn't have your favorite character, nigga. I, I called that shot in. I said, yeah, hey, so stupid writers, fix this nigga. You had Jerome Wake Got his ass the fuck up out of here. So <laughs> no, now, my line, what was it? You a salacious hoe. Yeah. What did he say? Oh, that nigga, what did he say? Yeah. Oh, yeah. say? Shout out to like Shout out to again. Shout out to my nigga Wood that paid me no more. What the fuck did he say? Or down box. Was that what he said? Hold on, that nigga said, uh, I don't want to get that die slow. Oh, yeah. He told him to put the condom on him. So yeah, that's true. <laughs> we never, I was weak. we never gonna be that cool, Jason. Nigga, I don't give a fuck if you lose I, both arms. Where do they do that at? Is that some California shit? California pimp shit. Put put the dick on me. I don't want to get put the motherfucking condom on. I ain't trying to get the die slow. I ain't trying to get that die slow. So if I think you got the die slow, I don't want you. What kind of nigga? That's so many questions. What that, kind that, of nigga gonna actually nigga, do it? That nigga was kinky. What kind of other nigga gonna request that? Right. What 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 kind of nigga is, uh dick requires somebody else to put it on for him? What's wrong with your dick already? Yeah, listen, listen. <laughs> I don't wanna be that rich where I can ask a nigga to put a count on my dick. Can you put I it on for me? Cause I don't wanna touch that motherfucker. I don't wanna be that influential to where a nigga be like, yeah. Yeah, I got you. He don't even want to touch his own dick. Hold your head up. <laughs> Hold your head up. <laughs> you know, how do you, how do you, how do you, how do you, that's what I'm saying. Not how like that. Not like that. <laughs> Roll it on there. What we got though, man? Do, do you Stretch it out. Hey, All right, my bad. <laughs> oh, man, I think it's going backwards. <laughs> hey, uh, 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 uh. Pitch that so there ain't no air bubble in there. Pitch that. <laughs> Pitch the Come tip. On, man. Pitch the tip. Come on, man. What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Was you fuck with that BMF? I always watch that, that nigga. Shit that shit is so funny. That shit garbage. Yes, it's but bad. it's good garbage. Cause I'm gonna tell you, I just I won't can't wait till it come back on. Yeah, it's one of them things. It's and like a I, bad I, cartoon. And I exactly that's great. Mm. And, I, and I can't wait for it to end either. 
Like this is what is this what we've been fucking reduced to America? Man. Shows where you can't wait till that shit over. That's crazy because none of my favorite shows I ever felt like that. None of the old ones. No, no. It's so many of them now, though. It is. I was like, please just end this shit. Like I, I watched it because I was started. Now it powers, all the powers, nigga. Have you just watched that? No, I quit. Yeah, I knew, it, cause cause I watched some of the Raising Canaan, and I gotta catch up because I actually did like that one. But I don't. When power, that shit got bad, that actually, shit got so. disgusting. But it's uh, it's at the point where you can see his uh, where he got his Tommy and Ghost action going on. They trying to form their own. Oh yeah, yeah. You can kind of see it coming yeah. full circle. Is it writing so any good? Cool. Cause your man said it's good. I, yeah, I don't want to do that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to say that. Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> okay, Zeke, you twelve and you I'm, really thirty three. I'm good for a good comedy. You uh, should watch it. No, please, no, man. No, no. If you go watch BMF, at least you'll get some sort of full circle connections because you see a lot of people from the other ones and it kind of make it make sense. And it's people from another power. Yeah, from the first one, the yeah. original one. So a lot of detectives and stuff like that. Have you been watching the Tommy shit? I really hate it. Ooh, Jameen says ain't nobody talking about it. I don't know. It ain't no it's, an, it's a second season? I have no idea. Did the first one tank? The first one was really bad. I don't know how it even goes any further than that. Yeah. But, um, man, yeah, those was, that, uh, BMF, though, if you can watch that, then you can definitely, you will, might actually like yeah. Power. Yeah. <laughs> because it's a connection. You require so much out of me as a friend. Just, just one. Yeah. I mean, I, just, I can't just, say she just fucked up because it's like a fucking you know, one cigarette won't hurt you. <laughs> That's what he hit me with. He could. He's gonna be shit. like this nigga was little the whole time. He don't know his age. That shit was funny. Wait, man. Okay, fuck it. It's a lot. I, I don't even want to know. You got to watch it, bro. Just do it yourself one time. All I right. ask you this: one more show. Even while you fuck with that swarm. Yeah, I watched it all. You watched it all? Yeah. What do you think of that? Uh, of course I love it. Okay. Of course okay. I love it. Shout but, out to man. Listen, I got to I, I gotta quit. Go ahead. Look at Tinder. I keep bringing her up. But Javine said she ain't like that shit. She, she, Javine don't like shit that's complex. You know what I'm saying? She, yeah, no, if, we, uh, if we sit around and I, and I say, like I say listen, this is Rakim. She'll say, mm, okay. But like that. Do, do you got some of that uh, bangity, bangity, bangity nigga music? You know what I'm saying? They don't like this shit. What bro. the complex shit? I don't think they like that swarm shit. The, the females, um, mm. they don't like that. She shit. not disliking it from the Beyonce standpoint. Nah, I mean like it's just. She, like, I think she ended up liking it when she further understood what was going on. I don't think a lot of females like Atlanta because it was so all over the place. Uh, so they like it. I knew niggas this who really nigga. didn't like that shit too, though. Huh? Niggas got kind of twisted and shit when it started getting more. Uh, what would we say? Eccentric. You I watched like, it all right. I liked it though. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah. But it was just like, and then when it started turning reality on his head, is when people were like, okay, I don't know. Is this real or not? I hate this nigga. <laughs> That's what they don't like, nigga. But the shit well, anyway, fact, you talking about when Swarm it started seeming like when they did the fake uh, Yeah. You mean, that's, you mean that's basically a true story? <laughs> yeah. Just like they did with the goofy story. Yeah. I'm like, y'all niggas. Can't. That goofy shit was one of the funniest episodes that's I've seen in TV history. That's what I'm like. Bar none. Well show, done. Any fucking show. But you got to be on the shit like that. And you got to be an M. Night Shyamalan type of nigga. Like a Pause. Nigga. I hate M. Night Shyamalan. I'm going But no. Uh, uh, you got to maybe like a P. Uh, uh, Peel. He's clever, nigga. Peel and uh, Peel. Yeah. Peel and fucking um, Donald Glover do the similar type of shit. So you gotta have appreciation for that before yeah. you go into it. So, I think Donald Glover is a bit more diverse. I think Ken Peel down there in one trick pony. No, just Peel. Peel. I don't know the niggas apart. The nigga who well, made I don't know Bill from T. The nigga who made know, Get Out. And I know what you're talking about. Just that nigga. I know you're talking about, but it's almost that same where he's getting to be the black M. Night Shalom, where he, he has a twist in every movie. And so, where he's going to get burnt, burnt out. So, that's why it's like with Donald Glover now, it's like, what's to it when you're watching everything? Yeah. Now, I watched yeah. one. He had another one where it was nothing to it Guava yeah. Island. What was it called? It was Guava Island, but it was like he put his music to him and Rihanna made a movie. And was it a good? It was, it was just. Yeah. Artistic, creative type yeah. shit, but it wasn't like man, you shit was trash, nigga. 
That shit was trash, nigga. It was cool how they did. It was like he did like a modern day moonwalker, but with his spam with Michael with, Jackson moonwalker. Yeah, like you know how he put all his songs oh, together and made it, I see and what then there was a story oh, in between. Oh, okay. He okay. did some shit. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be, you gotta be able to appreciate that type that of shit. That shit was called moonwalker with was, was smooth criminal and all that mm -hmm. shit. Oh, with all the bad yeah, shit put yeah. together. So that's what that's why I'm like you gotta to understand that type of shit that he own. You gotta so it's just artistic, mm -hmm. and that's crazy. That's what TV lacking today. It's mm -hmm. not a lot of art. And that's why people don't like it. it it's, it's, they're like, what the fuck? That's is fucked it? up because what it, people is we in this generation or this uh, time it's too creative. where people want everything boom, boom, boom. Where it has to be ignorant. Shit, weird. Where it can't be intelligent ignorance. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But I like Swarm. That shit was Good. super duper fucking creative, and it was scary. I gotta say, man, she might be the most scary <laughs> serial killer that I've seen in a movie or a television show since the guy from No Country for Old Men. You ever seen that? Yeah. Chigger. Terrifying. I, but I just like that it's. Because uh, she could have got me, man. I'm sure it's one time I said something about fuck Beyonce on the internet. Nigga, that's why I'm like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, this is some rooted in real type shit. You know, like, it, it, for me, that yeah. felt more real than what I'm watching on BMF. You know how that's all supposed to be real? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> this yeah. film, like, oh, this shit happened. If I watch BMF, I'd be like, man, this so fucking that shit. Saturday they, morning they, cartoon. That, that's exactly what it is. <laughs> it's a cartoon of Adult Swim. Mm -hmm. That's what that shit is. But I, I think that's where we wrap up at TV. Yeah. TV, I I'm, I don't even have a show on deck. I'm sorry to catch that. Uh, what's the name of the dog? Oh yeah, Snowfall. Yeah, Louis. They, uh, I hope she get killed too. Oh, she got. We know it. These here getting killed. She got to get killed. They gonna try to make her be noble, but Jada got to go. Franklin, Frank, <laughs> Franklin, girl gonna live. It, uh, she did, gonna live. I yeah, ain't had this his conversation son, with you. His son. Man. They might spin off with his son. He might be a rapper and shit in the nineties. That nigga. Ah. Yeah, okay. Got me. See. I didn't know where I was going with it when I said it. Yeah. I was like, they knowing they goofy ass, they gonna of give. A saint. So I was like, none yeah. of them knowing they ass, they're gonna give this fucking spinoff to his baby mama. They might. They ain't gonna give it to Louie. They gonna give it to Shit, the baby it? mama and the mama. What the gonna be doing, nigga? <laughs> turn, uh, conning motherfuckers until it's baby gonna turn saint, to a slapstick comedy. Till baby saint uh, yeah. starts selling drugs at eight. Yeah. Son of saint. Yeah. That'd be that's the son of saint. It's gonna be like Gotham. <laughs> <laughs> this Would weird ass Bruce Wayne. You fuck with that? Well, Gotham. Uh, that shit's all right. I, I, I got lost in it. I got lost in the sofa, but I like that shit. Yeah, um, that'd be good for a minute. but yeah. Uh, I just don't. She gonna blame Franklin, of course, but bitch, you try to kill Franklin. You can't blame Franklin for shit. All cars on the table once y'all sent them hitters after. The mama and the mama and the baby mama gets away with everybody else. The mama, the baby mama. No, Franklin live. Cause he's Rick Ross. I mean, he's gonna end up talking about how he had to deal with the CIA. And what did I like say that. before? Did I say he was gonna die? He's um, gonna live. Uh, read. I'm, I'm, go I'm, back to the other episode. Also man. gonna die. Yeah. Also gonna die in the shoot. I was really satisfying too. Uh, Reed's dad getting stabbed in the neck for me. I would. It didn't make sense. I know. I, I want. I just wanted to some get back for Reed. Uh, you got Reed. Reed. Reed self centered. He self. Nah, because I just enjoyed that he uh, felt something. Yeah. He got. He, he got to get that weird bitch. That shit was weird. That's what they really got to get. That strange bitch. That bitch like emo uh, emo Phillips. I can't wait. You, you hit. Uh -huh. Emo Phillips. Who <laughs> <laughs> she little bitch on that couch looking like that nigga, man. Hey, it bothers me. He's so sexually attracted to that thing. That shit is strange. That's Paul Rubens, nigga. That's Paul. <laughs> Not Pee Wee. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, what's up, man? Your girl, she changed her life around. Oh, shit, man. Angela White, you familiar thing? with her? I mean, I wasn't until now. Black China. I promise you, I don't know nothing about Black China. So she's all beefing with the Jenners and the Kardashians. Sex tape? I don't. I'm not hit. I had no idea. Bad head sex tape. That's all I know. I kind of remember. Yeah, I remember. I don't think I've seen it, but I, there was something about that with the uh, Tia Marie too, wasn't it? I didn't yeah. see it. No, well, make yeah. sure I'll check it out tonight. Angela White, <laughs> my document research. Yeah, research. research for the show. Angela White, who's best known to the, to this point, is Black China, 
It's turning over a new leaf to set good examples for little ones. And it's obvious the changes are way more than just cosmetic. Uh, Angela joined us Wednesday on TMZ Live to fill us in on how and why she decided to rebrand from her ex stripper slash reality TV and OnlyFans star persona to instead focus on motherhood, music, and a new business venture. I didn't know she did music. Is that a real name? Angela White. Yeah. Perhaps. People saying no. No. I don't, People, so. I don't think so. And the reason why I say this, and it's because conspiracy theorists, which I don't say that in a demeaning manner because I'm one of them, but they are certain that this is a ritual. And I, I'm not going to go that far. I'm going to see how it play out. That's exactly what it is. You, you, you too intelligent to be sitting right here. I need an idiot, nigga. <laughs> so I can look extremely smart. Don't do that again, man. Dump down for the audience. It's so funny. No, real shit. If y'all don't hear what he said, he said from black to white, China black to Angela White. And it's a duality. Uh, if y'all are familiar with the yin yang, the principle of light, there's dark, uh, whatever. Mm -hmm. So people looking at it from that aspect, the esoteric aspect. Uh, me, I'm more hopeful. I'm hoping that they wrong. I need to look up her mama, see if her mom's name is Betty White, perhaps. Or, uh, you know what I'm saying, something to that fucking pop's name, Barry. I need to <laughs> what the fuck happened. Um, I hope that yeah, it's that's sincere. Her name. Uh huh. That's her name. That's her name. Angela Renee White. Shout out to Renee. She says her kids were a big reason for the change, and also she was just sick and tired of being sick and tired. Angela says the turnaround started for her when she was baptized last year on her birthday, something that helped her find peace in every aspect of her life. Case in point, Angela says even her once bitter and litigious, how you say that? I know I say that. She right, litigious. Litigious. Litigious relationship. I'm so fucking embarrassed that I didn't pre-read this and actually to pronounce it for me. Uh, a relationship where Rob Kardashian is much smoother now as they happily share custody of the six-year-old dream. I'll never forgive her for getting nutted in by him. <laughs> she added that there's no bad blood with the Kardashian clan as a whole. You have to see how she says it. Uh, well, you have to see how she says it because she genuinely seems to have made a 180 from last year where she lost her defamation lawsuit against her at a break lawsuit against the Kardashians and she and Rob reached a settlement and the alleged allegations of revenge porn. Uh, Angela's transformation includes getting rid of her face fillers, getting a breast reduction and even removing some tattoos. She recently dished her incredibly profitable OnlyFans account. Big changes for sure, but Angela knows it's all worth it because everybody's happy, especially as her daughter who says she couldn't afford the OnlyFans subscription. What? I'm lying. But I don't understand what a daughter had be about, man. <laughs> so, wait. Everybody do it. I knew with the fat ass and tattoos. You know, who are you? Where's my mama? Go ahead. Uh, $240 million. Let me finish up. Uh, as Dream is happy, I'm happy. I don't know. Really care what anybody says. Go ahead. It's a $240 million OnlyFans account. 200, huh? 200 subscribers. million dollars. Is that the subscribers? No. It's how oh, you said, I don't believe that, but go ahead. That's what they're saying. Mm. That and bitch is in. So I'm like, if you. She can put in on the Washington Commanders, nigga. If she got 240 million, she can flip that. She can buy a franchise. Do you believe? I don't believe she shut that shit down, nigga. You had to get a subscription to understand if she shut that shit down. You gonna, you gonna log in and bitch can read the Bible. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. She gonna be in there with, with footy socks on, nigga, just rubbing her feet together, nigga. It ain't nothing. Mm. You can still have an OnlyFans page. Why would you shut that down? <laughs> what? That's fucked up, nigga. Let, 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 them, let them imagine. <laughs> Uh, and that's part of being sincere, though. Like, she's trying to clean up everything. Like, you know what I'm saying? Trying to, and that's what I imagine she's you can trying to do. clean it up without shutting it down, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, you know that you addicted. You can't go <laughs> crack houses and not smoke crack. If she log in that motherfucker, she's like, oh, what the hell? One more time. Pull that titty out. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> saying? That's a titty. Hell yeah. That ain't going to hurt nobody. Um, <laughs> her mother was uh, going off on her. I'm telling you, man, I do not know these people. Shout out to Jamin again. She got me here to her mother. Her mother's on there, Tokyo somebody. I definitely know that. Tokyo ain't. Drift is China oh, nigga, Black. I thought you about to say her name, nigga. I about to say, I'm so ashamed of you. <laughs> but she was on there going off, saying it was fake, saying she got that Baphomet tattoo, that devil worship tattoo. That's uh, about right. I had to show her what the Baphomet was uh, for clarification. But it's funny because I was just telling somebody else how the Baphomet represents the divine transgender. It's the man and the woman, uh, horn God. But... She ended up, they said, getting that off, which I don't understand. Like, why in the fuck would you get a bathroom on your ass in the first place? 
She specifically got that. That is like she didn't say she didn't say give me a little cute devil and shit with a fluffy cheeks. This bitch I want that the tranny one. That nice Templar motherfucking god on it. Templar. Duh, mm. That's where it comes from. But um she's an Assassin's Creed character. On everything. <laughs> <laughs> that's hey, all I listen, got out of listen. That. I'm gonna say this, and I hope that I'm not wrong. But congratulations, her for getting on the path to righteousness. Yeah, all uh, jokes of course, aside, uh, if you're trying for real. Of course, you know how we feel about the Christianity walk or whatever. But this could be the most. I'm not saying it is. I don't. I'm not gonna castigate her for seemingly make a change in her life, and I hope it work out. I hope that she prepared for what come with it, though. Because when you, once you choose righteousness, you gotta prepare to be tempted. You gotta prepare for uh, all kinds of fucking. Bullshit just to come your way, things you can't explain. And she getting the the, the birth pangs of this before the water break. Because people now, they sitting there waiting for her to fail. Somebody just waiting for her to do some shit. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, bitch, you still got the rose in your shoulder. You know what I'm saying? People waiting for her to fail. So I hope that it's a I'm sincere move. I'm not. I don't, that's funny. No, I mean, like, I don't want you. Bless you. You expect I don't, I, don't, I, I don't want you. I don't want her to fail. What you expect I definitely, yeah. Why? I, like, I anticipated what, from her character and shit. Like, what? Like, what did she let down for you? Not know? even, not even, not even um, spitefully. I already, or, know, I, already like, know, I already know. I already know that. It's just like most people don't really change. They always come back. People back. They and made the word point, backslide for a reason. To your point, I don't. I don't. I, I'm a firm believer that people don't change per se. But I think when you change what you're around, because I think your environment dictates a lot of who you are. And I say that in case of point of I start staying away from certain shit like on social media. Mm -hmm. So it, it less in my interaction with people. And so I feel like I'm not mad no more. I don't argue no more until I get in a situation like that and shit to where it rear back up. So the best thing that a person like that can do is close your only fans. Yeah. So it's, it's growth. I, I, people will grow. Yeah. And uh, in in certain respects, but I don't think they're gonna change. Shout out to Angela. I'm cheering you on. Sense. But uh, yeah, hopefully they, it goes well for. But Definitely. like, I wouldn't be surprised if I hear about this next week or if she she has uh, a twerking. She showed a butthole or something. Like <laughs> she couldn't resist. <laughs> I can see you now. Look, I told you, I told you. Look, Takashi sixty nine. He got beat up. <laughs> Everybody know that we laid on that story, but his baby mama said the gym attack is embarrassing for their daughter. Sarah Molina Takashi 69's baby mama. Ever since I used to just look at his name, I used to say it. One time Corey called you. Okay. I'm saying like Corey said, Takashi 69. Yeah. Corey was then with how I was doing it, saying 69. And so I thought he you sound gay. And I laughed and I stopped saying 69 until just now. Asaj is shaming me back in the scene. Takashi 69. I'm back. Well, that's his name. Takashi 69, baby. Mama says him getting attacked and an LA fitness was humiliating for the child. Real quick. The kid was with him? Real quick. Real quick. I, I'll get that, but hold on. I never want to be in a position where somebody says I got attacked. Because that is the most victim shit in life. You were attacked. I don't, I don't want that adjective ever associated with me in any form or fashion. That's it. That's what he. <laughs> He that's his he got thing. No, nah, I mean no, nah, that's his thing. Like you play the victim, play hard and play the victim. Definitely. That's his the Definitely. marketing strategy. Speaking to TMZ, Sarah said it was reckless of the rapper not to have security with him, especially after he was thrown out of the world baseball classic last week. Uh, I'm not familiar with this story. Um the inside is claimed six nine was removed from the game due to his excessive drinking. He was heavily intoxicated and interrupting other guests' experiences. The source told Page Six. He was drunk, and drunk. He was drunk. He was inebriated, and he was out of control. Same now, is that right? like I was wet and I was moist <laughs> and I was turning up? I was wet and drenched. Yeah. <laughs> there are a lot of families there last night, and he was bothering people. When somebody had a gang turned up like that, drinking, going crazy and shit, that's something deep inside. That's something deep in room. I'm sure he got a lot of regrets for her past things. Sarah says she is also concerned over their daughter's safety because of his beefs with other well, baseball rappers. Baseball is boring, though. It ain't boring enough, so I didn't work with everybody else's fun. They were their family. Ain't nobody fucking having fun at a baseball game. What they do? What they do? <laughs> he had to get drunk. That's what they do. They, get, they all getting drunk. Listen, listen, I wouldn't have fun at the orchestra, so I wouldn't go. 
But I ain't gonna fuck it up for the niggas who but came to hear the, the cello. That's the America's pastimes getting fucked up. You don't get fucked up and listen to but cello. But you get fucked up and fight niggas. You take prescription pills and go listen to yeah. cello. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the white people do. Wine and prescription pills. They go to Speaking sleep. of, quick segue, my daughter's joining the orchestra next year. Nice. She excelled in the band this year on the trumpet. I didn't want her to lead the trumpet. She going to the drums. She was uh, part of a, 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 um, the band team, whatever the fuck it is, the band ensemble. Mm. And they got a go at the little city or the state a competition. Nice. She did a fantastic job. That's what's up. Uh, she got a she got Nick Cannon drum line on the way? Absolutely not. She going to be an orchestra. I've never seen drums in an orchestra, though, so I don't really don't know what she know what the fuck she's talking about. That's why I'm you like, drum, drum line. It's like why they got his head. She don't playing timpani. Yeah. <laughs> but 6 9 you watched that video that ass whooping. I didn't see the video. You didn't? No. I didn't know that was a video. I just heard about the story. I'll be embarrassed. It's a video. You can find a video online. They whooped a couple of, uh, I don't know what they was. Um. They probably the same color as your outfit. Um, they be oh, mo- oh, like no. slipping in, in the uh, gym. I don't. It could have been staged. I don't know. He didn't have security. He's known to have security. He's a get high, beat up at the gym. He a ta- he a high target. That's why he at the gym. Yeah, <laughs> he got his ass. Well, he was bloody, but at the same time, he was on the ground throwing up gang song. Yeah, so that's why I feel like bloody throwing up blood. <laughs> everything. He was, oh, that's fucked up. So, Treyway. So he was, uh, I think, man, I think it's staged. I don't know, especially because I didn't click the video, but I saw the video where it said the dude who he allegedly fought was talking about it. And I don't know who beats up a nigga when it's protected. Exactly. So, I, I mean, it, it, ain't, it ain't nothing to uh, harp on, but how would you feel if your son watched you get attacked? Uh, or you heard about you get attacked at the gym, at the Planet Fitness gym? Well, you don't know Planet Fitness, do you? Nigga, Planet Fitness? <laughs> <laughs> he got beat up by some lightweight. He, he was in LA. He was in LA. He was in LA. He be, I was about to say, he got beat up by some cardio thugs. <laughs> I thought they were going to stop, but they just kept going. You they had so much it. stamina for some reason. They weren't even breathing hard. You know what I mean? um, um, uh, damn. Uh, well, if I got, you say attacked or yeah, jumped? You got your, what, what, well, I got my ass whooped. Yeah. I got my ass whooped. Yeah. Um, and I'm at LA Fitness. You Only way this is cool. You could be outside right now. Hold on. I don't know what your son gonna say, nigga. That's the question. Hold on, G, because yeah. if I'm at LA Fitness yeah. and I get my ass whooped, yeah. I hope that he seen me wild out and throw weights or something. No, nigga. It's, it's, <laughs> this is Takashi. You can't alter my story, nigga. He got pink hair. This is Takashi. No, 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 no. He got his ass whooped. He got pink hair, though. Would so, your, like, would, how would much embarrassed? Would your son be embarrassed? He would be. Would your son be embarrassed? I think so. How would you or feel? He, or, or, or he might be like, well, they would have got. Nah, I don't know. Well, no, <laughs> he would have no, no, been embarrassed. No, I think he would have been embarrassed. Would Especially if I got pink hair. <laughs> no, we ain't going to put Takashi 6 9 in this. It's you. It's me? It's Jason. Go Jason. All right. AKA. It's, it's that I nigga. Mean, that nigga. He, would he be embarrassed, nigga? I how, would you, how would you deal with that next time you got this one? Nigga. Hey, bigger you, nigga. How do you, how do you come back from that? Like, how do, it depends for me or for him, I think. For both of us. It's it depends on how it's it, a concerted, how. It's a concerted ordeal to deal with. No, it's going to be difficult, but it was all about the how. Because well, if I was, because if, because if, yeah. if, if, if the shit happened under righteous circumstances, yeah, and I got my ass with, I'm be like, nigga, I stood up for what the fuck I believed in. I got, a, I got the one of them, one a couple of times, but they beat my ass, son. Now, if I was hold talking on. shit, hold on, we going my look. son probably be like, you got, would you be embarrassed if I got my ass with some of Hell yeah. We've been busy all over the uh, YouTube. <laughs> this is enough hey, to, for him to see it. I'm gonna tell you, <laughs> fuck everybody else. on everything. So look, I'll be, I'll be embarrassed, but my daughter wouldn't be embarrassed. He'll yeah, be talking shit too, probably. Like you ain't finna tell me to stand up for myself. My daughter would cry. Like oh, so, the shit. owners now they figure out it's embarrassing for his daughter. <laughs> his daughter younger than mom. The destiny, she'd be sad. Would. She's like, Dad, what happened? What? How they kick your ass? 
What'd you do? She, uh, she, no, she'd be mad. She, uh, she have a weird, real weird fucking threat that I know ain't gonna. We gonna get the dinosaurs. We are gonna take them over there and kill them. Like some weird shit. But she'd be real compassionate. I don't think embarrassed to be her thing. That's that's more of a son emotion. That's a boy's emotion as opposed to a girl. Like, mm hmm. <laughs> then now you got to work with that threat. Ooh. That nigga going to get you. <laughs> your life will be on the line. Your son, watch you get your ass whooped. It's going to nigga test you. He he done studied the site. He going to play this shit back on YouTube. Okay, that's that nigga soft spot. He kind of flinched this shit when he got hit in his left rib. He going to start scouting that motherfucker, man. It's going to be Clubber Lane you ain't, out there talking crazy to Rocky. You <laughs> can't never tell this nigga to do nothing sports-wise. Or, or like what? Man up. Or what? Go faster. Do it stronger. Man, your bitch ass got beat up at the gym. It's always going to be that. Yeah, and you getting spotted in them goddamn 25. <laughs> <laughs> what we going to wrap it up with? What? The fruit stripes gone. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Listen, yikes! Pet zebra bites Stripes. Ohio's Stripes. man's arm off. Animal fatal <laughs> fatality shot. <laughs> fatality. Sorry. Animal fatally shot. Authorities say an Ohio man was hospitalized Sunday when a zebra he owned nearly bit the man's arm off. I, hold on, nearly bit. Nearly this bit. weak ass. Uh, uh, I skip nearly in the title. I about to uh, lambast them for their false advertisement. The incident occurred around th five thirty p.m. Sunday in the city of Circleville. About 20 miles north of Columbus. Pickaway uh, County Sheriff and other deputies found a man in a fenced in field lying on the ground. <laughs> it's insane. Where was Dr. Doolittle when you needed him? Talk this nigga off the roof. The zebra, while deputies were on the scene, assisting the man continued acting erratically and reportedly charged at the deputy cruiser that had been positioned to keep the animal from being able to get to the victim. I guarantee you that if they run DNA analysis on this fucking zebra, he got human nut in him. <laughs> I guarantee you that man was just trying to fuck that zebra. That zebra, <laughs> that zebra was shitty. He was, it. Hey, that zebra ah. wasn't trying to deal with that shit. Hey, I know what a motherfucker. He fought back. He said no, no more. The sheriff office said the zebras no. continue to act in a way that appeared aggressive. So they blaming the victim. So a deputy began blowing. <laughs> Blowing air Should've horns with them sexy stripes. Blowing air. Ooh. <laughs> Where you get that outfit at, Sheen? <laughs> or is that fashion Nova? That's that Zebra Nova. Hey, so Debbie be began blowing air horns and Should've yelling at the zebra to try to scare it away. This is clearly in the handbook. When you come up here with a, a sexy sort of zebra, you blow air horns. That has to be in the handbook. <laughs> <laughs> It's your boy. No zebra. <laughs> <laughs> the zebra reportedly continued charging the deputies and fire crews, as well as other members of the victim's family. So when nigga, the cocaine zebras movie come out, nigga, oh, I want that. No, that, no, that's that motherfucker. Only fans. <laughs> hey, I, I can tell you that he's like, don't, don't kill Bessie, don't shoot Bessie, because he loved that zebra. A deputy eventually shot and killed the zebra because of its aggressive behavior. There was some initial uh, indication, according to the sheriff's office, that the zebra was trying to be protective of female female zebras that was in the same field. Ah, uh, now he's always over a bit. Now he's crazy. No, this ain't no bitch. That's his people. Them his family. Yeah. He wondering why these two legged weird motherfuckers keep coming over here and shit, trying to pet him and feed him fucking grass. And he clearly asked for a sandwich with no mayonnaise. He protected. So I don't listen. It's crazy. It's an animal, but they paint a weird ass picture like this dude was a victim. He was fucking with the other animals. So, of course, this motherfucker acting, quote unquote, he ain't acting erratic. He acting like a zebra. He stole the fruit stripes gum. How the fuck do you, That's fucked up. That's fucked up, nigga. He the one that put them niggas he, out of business. He kept trying to get him to take pictures for the motherfucker. He wanted to show how you was doing in 94. I want the recipe. <laughs> it's crazy how they get human traits and emotions and animals. How you going to say he acting erratic? How you know zebras don't be doing this shit? Like, nigga, I this do this is on definitely Christmas. probably every. Everything is in an animal's character, nigga. Hell yeah, yeah. Maybe. Protect the women. Protect uh, black and white zebras. That motherfucker spinning around and going in circles and chasing his tail, nigga. Yeah, yeah, he acting weird. But if a nigga spinning around in a circle, he want to get dizzy. He want to feel drunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for fun. The victim was taken to Ohio Health Grant Medical Center for treatment of his injuries, which are not considered life-threatening. Initial reports indicate that the man had lost his arm, however. 
Additional information was provided Monday said that the man's arm was able to be reattached. <laughs> Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. <laughs> that shit is insane to me. Uh, that was a good one to end on. It was a question, real quick. Can zebras, can you own zebras in Ohio? I guess a lot of mothers hopped on Google for that one. That became surely more important than the important thing. Zebras are not considered exotic animals under Ohio's law that requires exotic animals be registered with the State Department of Agriculture. A that horse would have did that. I mean, a zebra ain't nothing but a motherfucking horse. They had a black parent and a white parent. That's what I'm saying. That horse would have did that shit. Would have bite the shit out you, nigga. That law was passed. The zebra got bigger teeth than horses. I was. It's like their mouths longer on it. I think they. The, I they think almost they like crocodile same. jaws. I think they're about the same. That's why they can make. Yeah. That's why they can what? That's why I'm, they can crossbreed and shit like that. What they crossbreed with? A zebra and a horse. Or, they do. Or a donkey sometimes. A donkey and a what make a mule? A horse, man. A donkey and a horse. What makes it some? I think a donkey is a mule. Like it's a male. I mean, a mule is a male donkey. If anybody wants to know, we are not zoologists. We, we don't know, know shit. Clearly, yeah. Out here some we should have fucking watched Jack yeah. Hanna more when we fucking shorties. <laughs> that that was a, that law was passed in 2012 <laughs> following the 2011 incident. In which a Zaneville man released a number of exotic animals he owned before dying by suicide. Boy, that nigga was a soldier. I, I gotta look him up, man. That motherfucker. Hey, zebra's just not as strong as a horse. That's why niggas don't just got them around. Like a, a mule, a, a donkey on a horse is stronger than a man. Hey, what'd you do if you came to the crib and a zebra standing on your front yard? <laughs> I said, I hope that motherfucker was nice enough to let me ride that motherfucker. That's how you get your fucking arm bit off, man. No, fuck that. I'm gonna give him some food. I don't think he, you would really try to get on the zebra. I get a nigga a, a burger. <laughs> get his little bitch ass a burger. You said, "Would well, I try to get on a zebra?" Yeah. I've never tried to get on a horse, so no. <laughs> uh, but uh, if I was into that, I mean, you know, I'm definitely trying to save gas. <laughs> I'm like, let me see, like, shit, this zebra bike got horsepower. That's funny, man. <laughs> Hey, they said that nigga who uh ooh, who let the uh, animals go. Who they said it was lions, go? tigers, bears, and wolves. Oh my! <laughs> lions, the animals tigers. confirmed to be dead were eighteen what eighteen Bengals, six black bears, two grizzly bears, two wolves, one macaw, a monkey, yeah. a baboon, three mountain lions, seventeen yeah. African lions. What, what the is fuck that? Is this nigga in Columbus, like by Columbus. Ah oh, hell! This no. nigga was a fucking zookeeper who went mad. He went mad. Anything you got to say in closing? Egad, man. That's what I got to say. Egad, man. <laughs> now, um, no, it was a good show. Good to be back. Um, next week, we'll be back, back on Spreaker. Huh? Definitely. We'll be back on Spreaker next week. Oh, yeah. All of that. All of the above. Hopefully, I can catch this audio or some shit. Oh, they're going to say the YouTubes. Niggers, enjoy the show. <laughs> Thank everybody for tuning in to another uh, fantastic episode of the best podcast you never heard. Again, this is Latour from my esteemed colleague, Jason. Go listen to his stories that he told. Fantastic stories, I'm sure of. Uh, what can I say that hasn't already been said about this guy? He is fantastic. Like fantastic. We'll catch y'all next week on the best podcast you never heard of. Conceded nobody. Niggers. <laughs>